For those of you that have been following the channel for a little while, you probably know that I shoot my videos on a Canon 80D. With that, I happen to use a kit lens, which is the Canon EF 18-135 Nano USM with image stabilization. This gives me an F of about 3.5 to 5.6. Now, while this lens does all right, I've noticed that many of my pictures and much of my video does not have the crisp quality that I'm really after. Today I've got my dad to let me borrow his 24 to 70 L2 lens. Unfortunately, it does not have image stabilization. So we'll be looking at some video, we'll be looking at some photos, looking at what kind of quality we get, how much crisper it is, and how it compares to the 18 to 135, and uh, just kind of my thoughts on it. So let's dive in. All right, so jumping in here, I haven't looked too much at these photos yet, so I'm not really sure what everything looks like. I've kind of looked at them a little bit. I've looked at what I took the other night some, but we haven't really gotten into the nitty gritty of them. So we'll kind of look at some of the problems that I've been having. You know, one of my favorite photo shoots that I've done by far has been the Frozen inspired bridal that I did. So in particular, if we look at the ones that I really liked and that I went into edit and such, you know, we come in here, we take a look at these, and you know, for the most part, they're, they're decently nice. This one looks like it's a little bit out of focus though. This one I've edited quite a bit. But you can see, I mean, just kind of looking at it. Now I did shoot these with a bit bigger aperture. I mean, I probably had this at... Uh, oh no, that one was not. So that one's at f29. So really, everything behind her should be decently focused. But if we look at this and, you know, we look at what it actually looks like, I mean, these these trees look like they've been painted. I, it's, I, I just, I don't understand. There's no definition to them at all. Her, that should be in focus, like the ring's pretty soft looking. Most of the lines are soft. Her hair is like, you know, there's, there's just a lack of sharp detail in the images and that's really what i'm kind of getting hung up on with stuff you know we've got the lack of detail here and if we go ahead and pull up the video that i took from this too so it has been re-encoded some but even the raw video looked about like this so if we go ahead and we open this up um obviously we've got a bit of color grading i did here but i mean let's just look at this for a moment i mean we've got this here we've got this full screen and it's just you know it just feels like there's a sharpness to it that's missing. This this one doesn't look as bad, but if we look at... So for instance, this clip right here. Now this is a clip that I did slow down a little bit, but if we look at it, there's just, there's not as much detail as there should be. If I'm really close to the subject, like if we come back here, you know, it looks pretty decent. We've got good detail in the face. We've got good detail in the hair. You know, good detail in the hands and stuff. The flowers look fairly decent. The dress looks good. But as soon as we back up and we come away, everything just becomes super soft and kind of muddy, kind of muted feeling. And I really, I really don't like it like that. I, I really want something crisper than that. Let's take a look real quick then at some of the video we shot last night and see how it compares. I have looked briefly at these. You know, there's kind of some shake in them. Uh, they weren't, they didn't quite come out the way I would have hoped. But uh, let's go ahead and open a few of these. So kind of immediately the things that I'm noticing when I compare it, I mean, obviously it's kind of shaky. This lens doesn't have the image stabilization, even though I'm using the gimbal, we don't really seem to be reaping all the benefits. It, it's the gimbal is kind of shaky for whatever reason. So she's trying to fling her dress. But if you look at them for the most part, I mean, they look pretty well in focus and such. They don't, I mean, there's not a crazy amount of detail. We are shooting at 1080p here but they actually look like they're in focus. So even if we come in closer, which we have to change, here we go. Even if we come in closer and play it, you know, it's, I mean, I can see individual hairs out here and it's, I don't know, I just, I feel like it is definitely a bit better looking. 
like here for instance you know we're not too close we're probably at 24 right here but observe just how much more crisp it looks now we are still just 1080p so we're not super sharp or anything but there's there's lots of visible detail here i feel like i definitely feel like we are getting more detail out of this lens now i'm also expecting to see more detail but if we look at this okay so we were definitely not we were definitely zoomed out in some so now we should be really should be at like 24 but notice there's you know we've got even when we zoom in 200 percent you know we've still got good lines we don't have any super crazy lines i wish i could drag this around some but i don't think i can but so we've got better lines things don't feel or look as blurry or muddy if we go back to you know our full frame here we got two back there trying to flip her dress you know it's i feel like there's definitely more detail i feel like it's definitely a clearer image than what i'm getting out of my 18 to 135. so it looks like the video is better we do still need to compare to you know, just while we're sitting here talking. So we'll, have to, we'll look at that in a minute. But before that, let's go ahead and let's look at how the, how the picture quality is looking. All right, so coming down here to all of the images that we took both Friday night or Thursday night and Friday night. So one of my friends, she was having a birthday party. We took some pictures. It was getting dark. So we definitely have some noise in the photos. Definitely got some high ISO going on in some of these, or at least higher ISO, not super high. I mean, we're only at 1600. So, I mean, zoomed out, it looks fine. Zoomed in, it's, you know, it's a little grainy. That's kind of to be expected. So here's some of what we captured yesterday, though. So I haven't looked at any of these yet, so we're looking at these together. I want to try to get some of their hands here. Oh, my. Whoa. All right, so that picture died somehow, but let's see here. What do we have? Here's what I'm noticing. This picture feels very nice. I mean, I haven't done any editing to it yet. I shoot these pretty much at a neutral profile. So we've got quite a bit we can do with the colors, even without doing anything to the colors though. I, I like how this picture is looking, but even zoomed out here, Look at how much texture there is in their hair. Like there's, it's not blurry. You can see like hair strands everywhere. We zoom in like this, this is a lot closer. Like, oh my gosh, look at that. We've got individual hairs here. This is a lot closer to the quality of photos I'm trying to get like this. This looks amazing right here as far as the sharpness of the photo. Now I haven't changed anything on how my camera is processing these photos. I haven't changed the sharpness. We're using the same picture profile. So nothing's changed in camera. All that we've changed is the lens. Let's come back to some of these. Oh, here we can fix the crop here. We'll just move it over some. Like, I mean, I'm a good, I'm probably a little bit closer than I was for those frozen pictures. Maybe just a little bit, not by much. We're talking like one, two feet. So I'm probably a good six, eight feet away from them, I believe. This was shot all the way wide at 24 millimeter. And just the detail. I mean, we've got, we've got nice sharp detail here. Much sharper than anything that I've gotten so far out of my other lens. Much, much sharper. Now see this one, I had a huge aperture, so she's in focus, he's kind of out of focus. I mean, it depends what you're going for with the picture. It's kind of okay, but uh, I do kind of wish they would have both been in focus. But even, so even here though, we can notice like her hair's really sharp, everything looks good. His is obviously kind of, you know, a little muddied you could say, but he's not in focus either. So it makes sense that like, it's not, he's not as crisp. If we come, so let's come back here. We had a little bit more light for these shots. Both of them should be pretty well in focus here. Um, I feel like, okay, so this this was a higher ISO. Why, why was, oh, because I pumped it up trying to see if we could get like 
clearer background. So where are some before I shrunk that aperture a ton? Where's somewhere I've got a nice big aperture? That way I've got a nice low ISO. There we go. We don't want that much grain. We, no, I'm not into that much grain. I, oh. Our shutter speed wasn't fast enough. We need a little bit quicker shutter speed for that. We got a little motion blur in here. But, uh, I mean, you can straight up see his eyelashes, basically. It's not amazing. It's not, you know, it's not... I mean, we're, we're at what? 20-ish um, megapixels, I think. So, it's not like we've got a ton of pixels to work with. But, for what this camera is able to do, these are definitely much better shots. I definitely like the photo quality of this lens. It's a definite upgrade over my 18 to 135 millimeter. Now for this next test, I've tried to make everything as equal as possible. So I'll be swapping the lenses, but we're going to be shooting at F4 with our frame rate. Our frame rate's at 30 right now. So we've got a shutter speed of 60. Our ISO is at about 800 or 1000. We'll double check that. We'll make sure everything stays the same. We're just gonna swap lenses. And we're gonna zoom in a bit and just see kind of how it compares. All right, so we got both clips here from the 18 to 135 and the 24 to 70 here in this timeline. And we are going to, uh, we're going to go ahead and basically what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to split it down the middle and we'll examine it that way because I think that's probably going to be the easiest way for us to take a look at this. On the left side is our 24 to 70 and on the right side is our 18 to 135. Even just looking at it right here before we even zoom in, the left side is is sharper i mean even just the stripes on the sleeve before we've even zoomed in you can tell that on the left side these are much sharper than the right side the texture of the shirt is a lot more apparent hair on my arms looks pretty similar are we going to be able to get a bit of my head yes i can't say that i notice a ton of difference but i mean just using the shirt as an example you definitely get more texture with the other lens um now both of these both these apertures are at four that way it was easy both lenses can do four at 24 millimeters i do feel like that left side is clearer though definitely on the stripes that seems clearer this is where things get really interesting with this camera now while i do feel like outdoor shots were indeed benefiting from the other lens I mean, if we just take this for an example, now I'm really wanting the 24 to 70 to have better quality. Like I'm, I'm really wanting that quality to be better. But if we take a look at this, I mean, we're getting about as much quality as we can out of the camera as it is. I mean, I am, I'm milking it for everything it's got. I mean, we've put it into all eye. So we're shooting at like 98 megabits a second. We got mad data in here. And if you notice, like, the hair on my beard still just, it's at least zoomed in. It's not really looking that much clearer. I mean, there's, there's just no detail there. Now this is 1080. I shouldn't be expecting anything amazing. I mean, we zoom in 200% on 1080 and we're basically down to what? 480 at that point. I don't know. What's, what's half of 1080. We're basically at like 520p, so, you know, round down a little bit, go to 480p, which is something we're actually more familiar with. And, you know, it's probably looking about right, but I still feel like it could or should be a bit sharper than that. I mean, if we do zoom out, it does feel like this side is clearer, this left side is clearer than the right side as it pertains to kind of the shirt, the stripes um the background anything that's not immediately in focus so basically anything outside of my face should be pretty blurry i mean it's well not that blurry we're at we're only at f4 let's go ahead we're going to flip it and let's see if we notice any differences on how things have been looking here on the right side versus the left side i mean we've got kind of the lens here we can look at which will probably be out of focus anyways just kind of the computer screens in the background, the writing and stuff. Let's let's go ahead and flip it real quick and see if we notice any differences. 
All right, so that was really easy. So we've got it flipped now. All right, so let's take a look at the stripes then and see if our, you know, see if we still feel like the stripes are actually clear. I, you know what? I do feel like the stripes that we're getting from the 24 to 70 are crisper than the 18 to 135. I actually do feel like those, those are definitely crisper. We've got the mic pretty well lined up. I mean, it looks pretty comparable. It doesn't look too much different. I mean, it really looks pretty close. Again, though, the facial hair is all just kind of whatever. I mean, here's the problem. If we zoom in here, we're at 86%. Here we are at 100%. And, you know, at 100%, I suppose neither really looks too bad. I'm not seeing great gains for either one, though. The stripes aside, I can't definitively say that one is actually looking better than the other. Which then means that, indeed, it's my camera that is my limiting factor. Although I'm not entirely sure how Potato Jet gets such good looking 1080p then because my 1080p, I don't feel like looks as good as his 1080p, but there you have it. Well guys, in conclusion, you know, I've, I've got to admit, I was really hoping for a different result than that. I was really hoping to find that I could actually get better video quality out of my camera by swapping the lenses. I'm really kind of surprised that it actually didn't come out somewhat better. It really looks, you know, pretty close to the same. I am happy to see that I can get better picture quality, but at the end of the day, when I've got to be able to both get good pictures and good video out of the same lens, more or less, you know, it starts making it a little difficult because, you know, I vlog with the same camera, I take pictures with the same camera and stuff, and it's a lot easier just to have the one lens. Kind of puts me in a weird spot at the moment. Obviously, we're looking at like the R5, the R6, or even just the R. We'll see what all happens with that, but uh, really hoping those will provide some better quality and that as those come out and the reviews come out and everything, and I can see some sample footage, that it really looks like it's worth it because uh, at the moment, it's not looking like there's a whole lot I can do with what I've got, at least to increase my video quality, we can definitely get better pictures, which I am stoked about. When I go out and do just pictures, I might think more about either trying to take this lens with me or renting a similar one or something. But uh, if you've got an ADD also, and you're kind of having struggles too, or if you figured out a way to get better quality, let me know in the comments below because I would love to know how I can try to get some crisper video out of this thing if it is possible. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's somewhat beneficial. You know, I know we're comparing a kit lens to an L2 lens, but you know, sometimes in life when you uh, get the opportunity, you borrow your dad's lenses because he's out of town for the weekend. Anyhow, if you like this comparison or if you have ideas for comparisons you'd like to see, go ahead and let me know. Hit that thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you want to continue to see content with cameras, the photos I'm taking, the videos I'm making, the Mercedes and such, because we're going to continue to work on that thing and fix it up. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. So long.